Hey, welcome back to Hostess Coach. Today we're going to be making a really simple and yummy clam dip for a change of pace on dips. So in the mixer here, I have two blocks of softened cream cheese. We're going to give that a little whirl. To that, I'm going to add, oh, about three quarters of a cup or so of a uh, sour cream. I want to get my cream cheese whipped up. Okay, so about, oh, three quarters of a cup or so. Maybe a cup in there. And then I'm, to that, I'm going to add, let's mix that a little bit. Because I don't want to grind up my clams too much when I get the clams going in here. So to our sour cream and cream cheese, I have drained two cans of minced clams and I reserved the juice so that we can thin this out a little bit if it needs to be thinned out. So to our, our two blocks of cream cheese, about a cup or so of sour cream, I'm going to add two cans of drained and minced clams. <laughs> I'm going to add, I have one clove of fresh garlic here grated because the clove was really big. So I didn't want to put too much, but it's a fresh clove of garlic I just minced. So we'll get that in. And then I have about a quarter cup or so of fresh dill. And I'm going to save just a little bit to put on top for a little garnish. And I'm going to put a squeeze of fresh lemon. I'm going to put a little bit of zest in here. A little bit of more garlic stuck on my thing here. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of zest in, lemon zest because brighten up anything, certainly a little fish. But I don't want it to be too lemony, but I'm gonna do a little bit of zest in there, and then I'm gonna put just a squeeze of lemon juice. I don't want any seeds. My lemons, this is off my tree, have some seeds. So just a squeeze of lemon for bright, fresh flavor. A couple of dashes of everybody's favorite hot sauce. A couple dashes of that. And then I'm going to do a couple dashes of Worcestershire shire. A little bit of dashes of that, which also helps with the salt because it's a little salty. Clams are salty too. And just a couple turns of black, fresh black pepper going in. Oh my gosh, smells delicious. And give that a stir and see what our consistency is if I need to add a little clam juice. And because I am making this the day ahead for the party, I'm gonna be serving it tomorrow to let all the flavors get to know each other. Um, it's always best to make dips a little bit ahead. So I'm, gonna, I'm serving this on potato chips, so I don't want it to be too thick, So I, because I just break the chips. So I am gonna put a little, just a dash of the clam juice, maybe a, about a, two teaspoons, and give that a whip. And that's really it. Let me give it a quick taste just to be sure we've got it going on. Mmm. That's delicious. And that's it. Quick and easy clam dip, something new and different for your party. I will scoop this out so you can see our deliciousness that we just made here. And just another great make ahead party idea, your clam dip. So let me get this out. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Delicious. Yum. Uh, there we go. And I made um, quite a bit because I'm having quite a few people, but if you just want to use one block of cream cheese and one can of clams, no problem if, you're, if you don't need this much. But this is kind of enough for a party, which is what I needed because, you know, I'm always having a party around here. And then I did it in the mixer, which you don't have to, but it just makes it go quicker when you guys are here and watching. So let me put a little bit of, move that out of the way. I'm going to put just a little bit of dill on top so people know what's in there for a little garnish. I think I'll put a little squeeze of lemon on top. And there we have it. Quick and easy clam dip. 
Enjoy, serve this with potato chips, which I'm gonna do. I got nice thick ones. And then I also got some crackers, some air, those air crackers to dip with it too. So that's it. Quick and easy clam dip. Enjoy.